Have you thought of this? Uh, actually, like, let's say someone comes in here, grabs this, and walks out. What are you gonna do? Well, it's a duplicate, so there's not actually any of the chips in it. So. See, that's why I asked. This is not actual. <laughs> but Nvidia would be upset and charge us probably. I don't okay, know. I see. <laughs> All right, sorry about the poor quality live stream. We're gonna dive into the sponsor booths again, and then later we'll do a poster session. How about that? <laughs> Lab. Not sure how they still have a company. But apparently they recognize people. Look, here's me. Deep mines. But oh, there's Demis. Demis is speaking to us. Can't be bothered to be here. Just on the screen. Telling us what to do. So many financial companies here. Here's Market. There's no, Citadel. I think what I struggle with is actually what I get going to post as well. Because boring. Um, in Dallas, there's like, there's a real hub of like software engineer community there. And See. a few finance companies have made Bond. that move. So. Yeah. So many finance companies here. Yeah, yeah, it's a few, yeah. Like you never see them in like papers and stuff, but then they come here and they <laughs> they grab people, put, they hire them, the and you them. never see the people again. Again, look, again. Quantitative trading. Hi. How's it going? I'm Yanni. Great. Um, I'm Merrell. I'm a brand partner. So I'm uh, the one uh, non-tech person on this booth. Uh, like imposter, you know. <laughs> cool. What are you doing here? I'm just uh, reporting a bit ah, from the okay. conference. So why would anyone work here and not at this trading firm or this trading firm or that trading firm? For that we have several cool uh, features of our company. We're just four years old, uh, yeah. but we're really rapidly growing. Yeah. Uh, we're more than 140 people now. We're totally investor-free. We don't have any external money, and we don't accept any external money. We're uh, trading only on our money from this scratch. We have really strong quantitative researchers team, and we're using machine learning. We don't have any manual trading. Machine learning was focused on deep learning and have serious analysis. All the team can code including yeah. office managers like we had hackathon yeah. for the whole company in non-tech category like it was hackathon for all uh, yeah. like for everyone but there were different streams uh, for like winners and non-tech stream third place took uh, office manager from dubai it was her first time coding in python ever oh. in life <laughs> but she who do this like the easiest strategy so they did it huh? what you're doing the yeah. company as itself is there is a pot of money you're coding machine learning code to invest that pot of money into markets with the goal of growing the pot of money. Yes, and also to provide liquidity on the markets. Yeah. Yes, yes, and also like creating new uh, medicine using machine learning and deep learning and developing this also. The field itself, not just only for making money. Because we have a lot of researchers that are really good at this field, not just because they're sitting and trying to earn some money in quantitative trading. It's just one of the fields that can be used. Yes. That's fair. So, yeah, and also we have full cool merch. We have a like, really nice uh, working culture. We have uh, our average age of in place 30 years. Yeah. So we're kind of young people, yeah. uh, full of energy. It's really cool to work with some like, you know, nice, uh, energized people with some really nice jokes. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Here's the Lambda. Are these actual H100s? Yeah, they are. So we're walking at 200k or something like yeah. this right here. Even more. Nice. And then we have the GH200 over there too, that's pretty unique chip. And you bring this just to flex. <laughs> I've never seen this heat It's, it's not mine. <laughs> well, it's soon mine, I guess, if you look away a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to make it to the, the street. Have you it's thought of this? Uh, actually, like, let's say someone comes in here, grabs this, and walks out. What are you going to do? Well, it's a duplicate, so there's not actually any of the chips in it. So. See, that's why I asked. This is not actual. <laughs> but NVIDIA would be upset and charge us, probably. I okay, know. I see. But very cool. So you rent these out? Mm -hmm. so yeah, we do. do. Yeah, and we sell the physical infrastructure as well. So if you want to purchase these down and like deploy it yourself on premise or yeah. in our co-location, we do that too. Cool. Very nice. All right, there is AstraZeneca. 
and they yeah. presumably do some health stuff, I guess. I'm not really into health. I'm a very unhealthy person in general. And here is Bosch. Hi. Hi. All I know of Bosch is that they make like drills. And when I see <laughs> Bosch AI, I imagine like a power drill with like an LLM in it. Yeah. And I need to prompt it to start drilling. Yeah. Is that what you do? Yeah, that's what people We have also a yeah. condition model for yeah. dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah. Go so drill, think step by step. Yeah. And it will like start drilling. No? Yeah, that, that's the question we are getting a lot. Like, yeah. how do you put the foundational models into the dishwasher? Yeah. So these are the questions we are usually getting. Yeah. But I mean, uh, so we can not only talk to you uh, like on a practical example, like uh, yeah. autonomous driving. So autonomous driving is usually based on the sensor, like can be a camera, lidar. Yeah. But then you don't really, uh, you still can't really achieve that fully autonomous driving because. Yeah. It can't drive like a human, right? Yeah. Like, but to achieve like drive like a human, you need to go beyond the like the, the you know those conventional methods. Yeah. And that's where, for example, we can kind of bring the reasoning capability of let's say large language models, vision language models, to actually uh, achieve let's say fully autonomous driving. Yeah. And that's what we are doing. Like now, for example, we try to see how we can actually bring let's say language model into autonomous driving. Yeah. And this way. It's not going to be only captioning, like we're just kind of uh, commentate uh, about, let's say, a possible action. For example, if it's making a turn, we want to know why it's making that turn. Yeah. Also, we want actually to improve the, like, that turn performance. Yeah, yeah. Like, so that's what actually right. how we are doing this for, okay. for our products. Pretty cool. Yeah, big stand. Good day, thank you. <laughs> Apple, very fancy, very minimal what you expect, like an Apple store. Yeah, what do you mean? Hey. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Yeah. <laughs> we all, we all. <laughs> you guys just keep Sorry, what do you mean? Video. No, okay. There is IBM. Okay, look at this. The Jan Lekan is like... Is Hi, Jan. Yeah, the Jan's not that bad. We'll start with we'll an equal like, crew here. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Look, giant group of people. Jan Lekan is in the middle. But we have no idea how to demonstrate a robot to zero the video table. This is something that any tenure... Barreled by people. <laughs> <laughs> 